Alrighty, here we go with another review. Doing some back to back. Yeah. So, you guys know me. I always do repaints before I do original figures. I don't know why, just how it always always happens. So this is um, the Takara Adventure Series runabout. Uh, they didn't release run amok yet, which seems kind of obvious, but whatever. Um, this is a repaint slash remold. I think it's actually just a straight repaint of um, Blackjack slash Hot Rod in the Legends class from Combiner Wars. Done up as the Battle Charger? Battle Charger runabout. Um, See the spoiler, he's got his same spoiler here as, as the other two. Again, since I've never reviewed them, I'm going to talk about them a little bit. But the spoiler does sit kind of on an angle. It just pegs in, there's two pegs here. And they go into the back here. These are for combined mode, so when you put them in combined mode, there's two pegs back here, the two holes. This pegs in to the front very tightly and then that slaps in the front of one of the Optimus molds and then you can have them as a combine, uh, part of a combiner team if you really want to. This comes off, this is very very tight on this side. So like I said this just goes back in the spoiler like so. It um, doesn't sit flat, I mean it sits flat against the body but because this this section is lower than the roof of the car it goes upwards on an angle and this kind of like just mushes against the hood which is eh isn't the best. Does roll okay. Again, these wheels are pinned on. I mean not pinned on, they're pegged on, not pinned on. If they were pinned on, pinned wheels generally roll better than pegged wheels. You can see the peg deep in there. Um, he's also, when they're not heavy, it doesn't roll well. So since he is just a, Legions cl a Legends class, he does roll okay for a Legends class. Very nice Decepticon logo on the hood. Very nice red paint on the windows. Nice little red paint detail on the hood here on the um, for the um, headlights. More Decepticon logos. More Decepticon. In case you forgot, Decepticon. Decepticon. Take the spoiler off. Decepticon. Um, this is their scan system. If you take the um, the mobile app and scan that, the Japanese version of it, you get stuff. I guess I don't know. I don't know if it's a game in Japan or. Because if on the um, American ones, if you scan them on the like the RID figures, there's a game and you can unlock them in the game. And I don't know because I played the game for about 30 seconds. I was like, this is dumb, and I stopped playing it. But you know, just in case, there's four Decepticon logos. In case you forget, but it is very a very mean looking little sports car. I very much dig this as a more as a Decepticon than an Autobot. So yeah, really not a whole lot else to say about him in this mode. He does he's pretty clean, especially for a Legends class. Even underneath, very clean, which I do like. So yeah, since he is a Legends class and he is official, uh, transformation is fairly simple. Um, you can just basically lift up on the hood and just start separating stuff, pull out the doors. Lift up this whole section. This is on a hinge, so we'll just lift that all the way up for now. Zoom out a little bit. These are the legs, the legs are, you split the legs, they're on, they're on like slide. Let me show you. They're on these kind of, you can, I think, peg them together straight on, but they're really designed to slide like that. So you just kind of pull this one down like that. And that gets the legs separated. The arms come away like this for more Decepticon logos, in case you forgot again. This comes along his back, like that. Then you break this front, this piece off, fold that piece down, and he is done. He is in his robot mode. Oh, and then, sorry, flip the arms around to reveal the hands. So there he is. He does look very nice. Um, hopefully he comes across well because he is very black. Uh, a lot of the details are a little muted because he is so black. Um, he does have very evil looking eyes, which I really dig. I really like that head sculpt uh, done up this way, which is the red painted eyes against the black and the silver. Like I said, again, more Decepticon logos in case you forgot. It does put the, um, the funky QR code 
dead center on his chest, which I'm not a, the biggest fan of. Um, it is just a sticker, so you could take it off. There, everything else is tampoed. These are all tampoed on. Then, you know, so this is just a sticker, so I could just peel it off. We'll see. I'm not a big fan of doing that kind of thing, but I might just do that. His spoiler now becomes an axe, which he can hold just fine. Uh, let me see. I don't know if I think those are five millimeter peg holes. Uh, I don't have anything else that's five millimeter around here. Um, but yeah, that's him in robot mode. His axe is kind of absurdly large for his body size, but whatever. It's not not terrible. Head is on a swivel. Yeah, it's pegged on like that. It has a little, little give, so it can get some wiggle side to side. Um, shoulders, because the transformation go in and out like this, kind of breaks the sculpt. So I wouldn't really recommend using that. Uh, very, very tight ball joints for the shoulders. Very nice range outward. Again, forward, I'm turning these very slowly because the um, ball joints are very tight. Hindered going backwards because the wheel is right there. So it mashes up against everything, but this way is great. Uh, friction joint elbows, just hinged elbows. Get you 90, a little past 90 degrees, but um, very, very tight. Hands are molded. This section is does not peg in at all, so you can do that. So just be careful, like when you're messing with them, not to, eh, and then you lose his head. Nothing at the waist. Ball jointed uh, hips, get you a really good range. Cut above the, in the, the cut above the uh, the hip there, or whatever the thigh, thigh. Yeah, I guess the top of the thigh, so it gets them all the way out. Nice, and I ripped his leg off. Nice uh, knee, get you basically as much as you want. Uh, nothing forward at the knee and feet are molded in. So yeah, there he is again with his little axe dude. Uh, I really like this guy. I think he worked really well as a Decepticon. And in case you forgot, you know, you can still see Decepticon, 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 all six Decepticon logos in case you forgot. They are there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So yeah. If you can grab this guy or any version of this mold, just pick the one you like. There's a replacement X for this guy on Shapeways that I might actually pick up, which turns this into a gun, this handle middle part, and then also adds so the wings can, because uh, obviously half of the pegs are on the back here. So for like Rodimus, they gave him his his um, his spoiler, you know, because you can't put this on his back properly, you'd have to put it sideways. Like, ugh. Ugh. This peg is very tight, like I said. You'd have to put it like that, and that looks absolutely ridiculous. So there's extra pegs or adapters so that you can put it that way and have, have a spoiler, which I think might look pretty good on him. And it also gives you um, new peg holes, because the pegs that uh, hold them on in combined mode are just formed from that. So that can be a little loose, so it gives you uh, an extra piece to, for that. So I might pick that up, see how it looks on this guy. I do have Rodimus and I do have Blackjack, but uh, I do really dig this version of the mold. Very fun little Legends figure. Size comparison, the only thing I have right now with me is little Maggie. So you can see, he is just a small Legends figure. But he's a nice fun little pocket toy. I do recommend him, and uh, since he is a, you know, it's a car Japanese, ver Japanese exclusive, you know, you're going to have to pay for him if you want him, you know, a little bit more than the regular Legends class. I think, you know, you're going to pay 15 or 20 bucks for him versus, you know, 5 or 10 in the store for a U.S. version, so uh, pick up any version you want. I do really like the, the way the Rodimus one looks, but I think it's just stupid that he's small. So anyway, I'm rambling now. Big thanks to, I don't want to say his first name because I don't know if he wants it out there, but big thanks to Dan, Pla Dan Plastic Crack on Instagram for hooking me up with this guy. 
very much appreciated. He's a very fun little figure. I do really like him. I don't know why I'm taking him off screen, but... Uh, shout out to ROC, Decepticon Click, Autobot Click, all you guys, everybody. You know who you are. Uh, I didn't even say thank you or anything to the other, in the other video, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so follow me on Instagram, Ace Milo. Follow me on YouTube, Ace Milo. Follow me everywhere, Ace Milo. Uh, send me feedback. Let me know what you guys think, think of this video, the other video. If I should keep doing these, which what I should, you know. Like I said, I'm just going to keep this talking about figures I want to talk about when I can here and there. And just see where it goes. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Take it easy.